Hello everyone, this is Eric with the Fairbanks Library, and today I have another coding video for you in Scratch. Today we're going to learn how to create music using instruments or pre-recorded songs that Scratch offers. To begin, we're going to head to their website, scratch.mit.edu. On the home page here, you'll see some programs that others have created, as well as some of their tutorials. We're going to go straight to Create so that we can begin making our own program. Once you've reached this page, we'll go over the interface. On the left hand side we have the blocks of code, so each one of these performs a different action. We can put them together, like puzzle pieces, to create our program by setting them in this large area here. This is our workspace. On the right hand side where you see this cat in an empty white space, that's our program. Currently we just have one character and he doesn't do anything. We'll have to code him to be able to do things, and down here we can delete him and replace him with a new character and over on the right hand side we can change the background. To begin let's replace our character with a musical instrument. I'm going to select the character and then click this trash can icon to remove him. Then I'm going to come down to this image of a cat, select it. We're going to scroll, you can look for a character you like I'm going to select this electric guitar here. Now we have our instrument to work with, but how do we make it produce sound? The first step to making our instrument produce sounds is to go in the upper left hand corner. We're going to change from the code tab, skip over the costumes tab, and go to the sounds tab. Here you're going to see several sounds that I've already selected, but in order for you to add these sounds for your instrument, head to the bottom, Click this icon, choose a sound, and you're going to see a very large list of different sounds. So if you selected an electric guitar like me, you'll see the different notes like A. So this is the A note for the electric guitar. And we can also search for them. So I can type elect guitar. And here are all of the notes that you saw before. I've already selected each one of these individually so that I could add them to my list but you can add pianos or drums or trumpets or trombones. They have a lot of different sounds in here, a lot of different instruments. So feel free to add whichever one you prefer. Once you've selected the sound and you have it in this list here, you'll have to do these one at a time. We can return to code and we're going to be able to add the sound to our program so that our instrument can actually make that sound. Let's start by adding our first note. I'm going to go to the events tab and I'm going to set it to a button. So when space key is pressed and I'm going to drop this down and change it to the number one. So when one is pressed, then we go to sound and we're going to choose start sound. You don't want play sound until done because then uh, you're going to have to wait for each sound to finish, especially if you're going to be using one of the pre-recorded songs, then you'll have to wait until the entire song finishes before you're able to play any other notes. So start sound is nice because you can play more than one note at a time. Now we're going to connect these, and whenever I press 1, you'll hear the sound play. Now let's see if we can make it a little more interesting by adding some animation to our instrument here. I'm going to go into the Looks tab and add Next Costume. Now when I press 1, if you look at the guitar, you'll see it changes costume so it looks like it's actually making the sound. Additionally, we can change the position. So that's going to be in Motion and we can go to Random Position. Now when I press 1, the guitar moves around the program and plays the sound. We can also point in direction and go into operators so that we can make it point in a random direction. So it says point in direction 90, which is going to be just like it is already. But we can set it from 1 to 360. That's the number of degrees in a circle. That way it can point in any direction. And place this inside. Now whenever I press 1, it goes around the screen playing the sound. 
Now we want it to play more than just one note. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. I'm going to make five different notes. So duplicate, 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 duplicate. Make sure you select the one at the very top. That way it gets all of them. If you select the one at the bottom, it will only get the part at the bottom. Now we're going to make this two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to change our notes. I'm going to do C, D, E, F, and G. Now whenever I press any of these keys, we'll be able to play different notes on the instrument and it'll move around animated on the screen. At this point, you'd be able to make your own song, even though we only have five notes on one octave. But we can also gather other instruments from the sounds like I showed you by adding more instruments here. So I'll search up drums, for example, and we will get a drum. You place that on the screen. And you'll notice that all of our code is gone. That's because we've selected a new character and the code is dependent on individual characters. So we still have our code for the guitar, but if we want to code the drum, we're going to have to add some new code or copy it over from the guitar by simply dragging it onto the drum. So I'm going to copy over all of the code from our guitar onto the drum, but remember that currently it will still make the same sounds as the guitar. So we have three, four, and five. We'll just double check that all of these are here. They'll be stacked up, so just make sure to move them. And they are all here. Now we're going to go into sounds. We're going to delete these two sounds. And we're going to add in drum sounds. So I'm just going to do a quick search for drum. So let's see, which drums do we have? Doesn't look like we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we're going to have to adjust. This will be a good time to show you how to take advantage of the pre-recorded songs they have. So you'll see up here, drum, jam, mock, roll, and just the very first one called drum. Let's select this one and go back to code. We're not going to need all five of them, we'll only need one. And we're going to change start sound C electric guitar to drum. Now when we press 1, it's going to play that entire song we heard in the previous tab. As well as the note from our guitar. So let's change this from 1 to space. So space will control our drum, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will control our guitar. So let's test this out. The last thing I'll show you is how to change our background. So I'm going to like choose a backdrop here. You'll see a list of backdrops we can select. And I'm going to pick the concert. So they're in alphabetical order from A to Z. You'll see concert right here in the second row. Now you're ready to make some music. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.